Good morning! It's 11 a.m., a matinee game for the number seven Lady Panthers hosting the University of Science and Arts out of Chickasha, Oklahoma. Anything else? Oh yeah, there's 2,600 screaming kids here for Highland Dairy Kids Day. <laughs> That'll wake you up. Meanwhile, Drury outscoring opponents by 20 points a contest coming in. Lady Panther starters with maybe a little too much energy early. Neither team scores for the first two minutes. So Amy Egan goes to the bench. Reese Schaff with a bucket. Then Allie Clevenger from deep. She's 37% from out there this season. That number is going to go up. She was 3 of 4 from long range in this game. Drury out to a 9-0 lead. They stretch the run to 17-4 behind 8 points from the freshman Schaff. She finishes with 14. DU forces 18 first half turnovers and a hit finding Elena Finley off this one. Finley averaging over 18 a game in her last four. Just seven tonight though from the senior. There was not much to see in this second quarter. Refs call 28 fouls resulting in 36 free throws. So here's some footage from halftime of a dog catching a frisbee. The dog is more athletic than me. Shout out Disky, the frisbee catching dog. Let's skip to the third quarter now. Do you up 26? This time it's hit scoring. Good to see her regaining the form on her jumper after coming back from the broken hand. And here comes the flood. Haley Tunnel, the freshman from Arkansas from deep. Boom, Drury up a 40 piece. Kaylee Demitz hold in foul trouble to start the half, but she was all buckets when it was between the lines. Triple is money and Demitz hold up to 16. She finishes with 21. The rain continues. This time, Terry on Moore and the children go insane. Moore goes for 18 points, seven boards. DU finishes with 14 threes, one shy of a program record on 52.5% shooting. Dury forces a season high 30 turnovers, four players finish in double digits, and the Lady Panthers roll 95 to 60 over the Drovers on Highland Dairy Kids Day at the O. Nothing like running out of that tunnel and hearing 2,500 kids just cheering for Lady Panthers. I mean, I think it's such a special day for our players and a day that they'll always remember the, the after the game going up into the stands and the kids having signs for them and then signing autographs. Um, man, what a fun day. Taylor Birch did all of this, my GA. Um, I didn't even have a clue about one, one ounce of it. So uh, everything goes to her uh, for initially setting this. And then obviously our administration here played a big role in and, and some other sports coaches too and I think some other teams uh, and so it is just like everything that we do it's a team effort uh, but Taylor really organized this.